This is, this is what used to be BMK carpets, Blackwood and Morton, the world headquarters is here. Built away up there, away on the sky, with a great big sign in the top of the building, BMK. You can see it all over Kilmarnock, Jack. You know something, Victor? What's that? Welcome to Kilmarnock. And you know why? Why, Jack? Because you're welcome to it. You're welcome to it. That's right. Look at it. Look at the state of the place. Ah, oh, come on. Kilmarnock. What are they going to do with this? Reduce the rubble. Reduce the rubble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jack, what are you saying, Victor? This is terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Do you, know, do you know what was further along the road there? What was that? Do you remember Turner and Ewan? A day so. I remember it do very know, well. Did you ever hear the story about the spring? No. But I, I, I'm, I think I'm going to Victor. <laughs> the, the fresh, fresh water spring where we, the, the Turner and Ewan lemonade was made from, it's maybe still run. Do you fancy a walk along with a lot and see? Aye. Aye. But it's all knocked down as well, well Jack. There's, there's nothing else to do in Kilmarnock, is there? Well, I, I intend having a look round about Kilmarnock and seeing all the desolate land, Jack. You fancy that? You fancy doing that? Let's do that. Then. We'll go and do that. That's right, what we'll do. Let's go. That's a deal. Put it on, mate. I'm doing. <laughs> Cut. Jack, Jack. You know that is there? What is it, Jack? That is this is the entrance to BMK. They used to say White Wooden Morton. White Wooden Morton was there. This oh, was the that. entrance. This was this was the main entrance into BMK, Jack. I remember that. Remember it? I remember that. Well, that's that's the only thing that it still stands about BMK. That's all it's like. Right there. Anyway, you find I'll go and show you that bit where Turner Noon was. Let's go and Tannock see Street that. it was. Tannock Let's Street. Go Let's go. Tannock Street, Jack. Tannock Street. Turner Newt. Nothing left there. Lemonade. Remember it? Aye. There was it's a, all gone. There was a spring over there. Aye. Fresh water. That's how they made it. The lemonade factory. Aye. With a spring, you know? Nothing left yet. Nothing left, Jack. Nothing anyway, left. Jack, let's move on and see Aye. what, what Aye. else is sterling. Oh, this is depressing. Let's see. This let's is depressing. See. Floods have all, often devastated parts of Kilmarnock. The most serious were in 1952, 1932 and 1994, according to this victim. Huh? In 1982, there was a damage along the entire length of the Kilmarnock water. Jeez. Particularly at the cross and at King Street. King Street's a war down there. Huh? In 1932, the flood water held back by the Rickerton Moss flowed into the Kessar huh? and onto the River Irvine. Because of extensive damage to industries and houses. I ah, mean, all the houses are right here. Look at that. Very hill road, no man. Very hill road just across the road here. Aye, well. In 1994, three days of torrential rain caused flooding in businesses and homes in low lying areas. Following another flood in 1995, it was decided to build this flood wall. Oh, that's a flood wall. This is a flood wall. Oh, that's a flood wall. Let's have a look down at the bridge now. Aye, Jack, that's what you know. I'm going to tell you something, Jack. What's that, Victor? I came here about 45 years ago, and I used to watch a man diving off of this bridge into that water down there. There was a pool down there. All right. And he used to dive in there. And he would get come back out he, with his trunks on, you know? Oh, he's better his trunks on as his trunks off, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's what I thought. Anyway, he'd come back up here, and he would stand up here and dive back in again. You couldn't do that now, could you? You want to try? Do I go? I feel like it. Fancy a wee swim? No. No, no. no. Look at the colour of it. Oh, you, you get any trunks with No. Commando. Well, Jack, eh? Hey, remember this bit then? Aye. What was here? Can you remember what was here? Over there? Do you know what was over there, Jan? Right in the main man. Saxon Shoe Company. That's remember right. it? Aye. Hey. Aye, they shut the streets for a street here, didn't they? Mill Street. Mill Street. Not oh, here anyway. They were doing Mill Street and it was, it was Douglas Raper. I know right. the carpets. Oh, they kind of take-offs with BMK over, over the road there, you That's know? That's right. Hey. 
Oh, yeah, that's a memory. Six own shoes. Six own shoes, man. Yeah, there you are. Oh, did yeah. you ever get any of them? I couldn't afford them. Hush puppies. Yeah. Remember all hush puppies, eh? Well, it's all the good shoes I get, so I've slipping tramps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Jack. That's it. Look, big supermarkets now, eh? Right. Tesco burgers, eh? Right. They own the world. They own the world, eh? Oh, vehicle mama. Well, Jack, you remember this bit, eh? The day so, Victor. Eh? That eh? was the back of the Saxon right there. Saxon Shoe Company. Dinner right. time you used to walk along here, you know, the girls were whistling at oh, you, Jack. Oh, I remember that. They remember that, Jack? They eh? whistled at me every day. Do you know like what they call girls? What do they call them? Mill dumpers. Mill dumpers, you're right, Aye. you're right. You know what we've got in the town now? What have we got? We've got the Mill dumpers daughters. Aye. Eh? And the daughters are yeah. unemployed. They'll do that karaoke thing, you know that? Aye. No, oh, that's know. terrible. But there, that's where it was there. The that back of the Saxon. Saxon shoe property. That's gone and all. That Aye. Oh, it's depressing. Depressing. Cut. What's that, Jack? That's a core epidemic. Hey, what happened there? The memory of those inhabitants who died after and during the epidemic of 1832. Were you born in 1832? Ah, just about there. Now, here in Tub. This is a mass grave around here. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, under there. Alright. I'll tell you something. I think they're the lucky ones. They're the lucky ones. They're the lucky ones. Do you know what I'm going to say, you Jack? What's that, Victor? Do you know there are some nice, nice places in Kilmarnock? You know when you see it? It's not all bad, beautiful. It's, it's not all bad. It's a wee surprise for you. What's that? I'm going to take you and show you the cabber feet. Let's go. Eh? You want to see the cabber feet? Aye. Okay, let's go. Aye. The Glenfield McCarrie. This was the main gate to Glenfield McCarrie. This was the main gate? Yeah, we'll read a wee bit about it for you. Aye. Right. This is the site of the original main entrance to the firm of Glenfield McCarrie. The company was formed in 1899 and a merger of the Glenfield Iron Company. And the, Glen the Glenfield Iron Company. Glenfield and Kennedy were the largest film of hydraulic engineers in the British Commonwealth. They constructed everything from 4 inch water meters to river barges and hydroelectric plants. That's a lot of work there, isn't it? And our Henry Thomas Kennedy and John Cameron de designed and registered the water meeting forming, forming the Patent Water Meeting Syndicate in 1852. He was just a boy. The office is faces streets with the workshop situated behind. At a later date, the workshop was extended across the River Irvine to a further 26 acres, and today the whole factory is concentrated across the river. Oh, you see, you're just, is that just still there? We are there. That's exactly what it is. Well, we're going to have a look. Running. Is that Glenfield and Kenny down there, Jack? We are there. Will we go? Still going, Jack. Still going. Still going. Is that the road didn't prove it? Is that the filling station? That's exactly what it was. Oh jeez, oh. it's all gone now. It's all gone. It's all gone. Well, Jack. James Little Street. Aye. That used to be the old Bentic School in there, you remember that? I remember that. Eh? The old Bentic School. Aye. Well, I'm going to tell you a wee story. See that blue billboard right in front of us there? Aye. Well, they used to wee pub in there during the war. It was called the Caber Fee. The Caber Fee. The Caber Fee. And see all the American soldiers that come over here to fight the, the so-called war. Aye, oh, right. They used to drink in there. All oh, right. And it, it used to, it was a it was a house of ill repute. See up the stair there. What a brothel. Aye, it was Jack. Oh, good. I didn't and do you know what that. happened? What? One of the privates had to come and pick up one of the generals, right? And he come up in one of the army champs and he parked in this street and when his boss man come out with one of the girls of ill repute he stood across where that lamppost is over oh, there, right? Aye. 
but when he come driving, he went down the end of James Little Street, turn round about, and he come driving up, and it was one of the army champs, which it's got an offset steering wheel and offset feet pedals, right? right? It had five forward gears and five reverse gears, oh, right? Yeah. Anyway, when he came to the end of the street here, he was showing off a bit, he went to hit the brake and he hit the accelerator. Oh! And it shot right across the road with the power of the thing. And hit the general and the female, and it went through the wee shop next door, it called Polly Guthrie. All right. It went right through the shop, and it ended up killing the two of them. Jack, kill the two of them. I can't mind that, Victor. Kill the two No, you'll not mind it. But anyway, I can't mind it either. All right. But anyway, kill the two of them. And ended up in Polly Guthrie's back orchard out the back there. All right. Oh, we'll maybe day. We'll maybe go through and have a look and see what, what it was like out right there, eh? You fancy a, you fancy a gander? Aye, well, you know. Right, Jim. Let's go and do it. Alright, Cure No More, as I told you earlier on there, it was called the Caber Fee. Caber Fee. Caber Fee. Aye, it was, it was quite a place, you know. It was a house of ill repute up the stair. Aye. Aye, a lot of, a lot of bad things went on in there. Aye, you made your own entertainment in there, You made your own entertainment. I'll tell you one thing, that's, that? no, that's no standing either. Ah, there's a wee joke in there somewhere, Victor. A wee joke in there somewhere, Victor. No standing anywhere. Nah. It's knock it down. Knock it down. Aye. Oh, that's a command. Running. Ah well Jack, eh? Yeah. The crown. Aye, but you know what I'm going to tell you? What's that? You know my father owned this pub? Oh, yeah. Your kid? 19, 1960 it was. 1960. Didn't they get that? Aye. I did for about 10 years. But it was a thriving pub when it was busy. Aye. Used to have to open. It was at half past two. Then we opened at five o'clock. And it was just black with all the workers coming out. They come in and you'd be pouring all the pipes ready for them coming in. It's a busy pub, it's always been a busy pub, you know what I mean? Lovely wee pub. Anyway, you're in for a fight again? Let's go for another one. Right.